what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to talk about scream 7 in this video here today so what a fun way to celebrate the one year anniversary of scream 6 doing a scream 7 video so apparently melissa barrera allegedly made a bold claim this past weekend at planet comic-con according to a fan on ig by the name of the real john michael they are claiming Melissa shot down the comment that Sam's story was over because the second Spyglass sells those rights, she's back in a second. Interestingly enough, I did hear rumblings about the rights possibly being sold when everything went haywire back in November, but nothing else came out of that, so it's not really looking like they're going to sell the rights. Shout out to you, Kyler, and everyone else that sent this tweet over to me. While these comments do make me slightly happy as someone who wanted to see sam's trilogy concluded i'm exhausted over this film <laughs> and it's all because of what happened in november a situation i feel like could have been completely avoided had something more productive been reported as the weeks followed this comment from melissa will be doing a lot more for me but instead we got reports that landon's gone jenna's gone and now let's bring back nev and patrick to save face sydney don't get me wrong Oh, she was involved in the original draft but the way they are going about it now just seems very desperate doesn't seem like having a good story for sydney is really a priority as much as it is get sydney back so we can look good for pr purposes get nev back so we can look good for pr purposes but that doesn't mean that again even if nev sydney does come back and is involved in the story that doesn't mean that the story won't be good it just seems like they're very desperate at the moment uh however does melissa know something is in the works with the rights being sold are radio silence which is still of course a production company not just a pair of directors are they about to have sole ownership to produce screen movies with mrc or sole rights to produce screen movies with mrc there was that announcement we got not too long ago about Radio Silence teaming up with MRC, so that would be a shocking twist of fate for them to gain rights to screen without Spyglass meddling in any capacity. Realistically, if Spyglass doesn't have Scream 7 shooting before this potential IOTC strike in the summer, Scream 7 and then Thanksgiving 2, which you know they have that coming, those two projects being delayed again, like that might force them to consider selling the rights. To certain things like scream just to stay afloat i mean honestly what else is spyglass even doing i think they have the knight rider project in development and a few other upcoming projects but outside of scream 6 scream 5 and thanksgiving i haven't seen many hits for them since their return in 2019 they quite literally threw themselves away back in 2012 if i'm remembering correctly and then they relaunched in 2019 We'll just have to wait and see because apparently, according to you as well, Kyler, you have been conversing with this fan who got that comment from Melissa at this event. And Melissa explicitly dropped Spyglass's name multiple times during these comments today, but I doubt it was in an overly derogatory way and likely more of a just a call in a spade a spade without being too shady so she doesn't rock the boat any further. With comments like this, it seems very apparent despite nev allegedly trying to leverage her leverage a door to be open for melissa to return as long as they have the rights they being spyglass she's not going to come back she has her own circumstances and it seems to be that she wants spyglass to be far away from this ip i don't blame her just like they don't want have want anything to do with her she doesn't want anything to do with them it's a two-way street um but my gut is telling me that the reason that the script isn't ready which yes the script still isn't ready my gut feeling as to why that is is because one james vanderbilt is gone which is what i've heard despite recent reports about him sticking around and it would appear that guy Busick is the one who is actually sticking around to write scream 7 with a possible new partner so whatever james and guy were doing i'm just making a prediction could have been scrapped so that they can start all over once again for like a third time i guess it would be at this point or writing isn't happening at all at this point because spyglass is on the verge of selling the screen rights we'll just see mason gooding gave some comments about scream 7 as well a couple days ago too here's what he said the variety about scream 7 likely happening he said if it could make money i guarantee you they'll make it 
it's one of those things where you wait to hear from the people that make the big decisions he's basically just saying he's out of the loop is what the takeaway is there and sounds like he's waiting for a phone call just like jasmine a call they probably don't care if they get or not to be honest given what happened with their friend I prefer Spyglass sell these rights, as I'm sure many of you would, because even beyond Melissa's situation, bad news with their screen projects just seems like a curse they can't avoid. Even going away from what they are doing with their cast and how you can disagree and think it's terrible what they did with Nev, what they did with Melissa, how they didn't want to pay Jenna, apparently. Just all the drama that the production of Scream 6 had, with this one individual i'm thinking of that this this has nothing to do with the stars but that one individual who was stalking the the set you know who i'm talking about it just seems like spyglass and them having the rights to scream is under some sort of curse that they can't avoid make it don't make it i don't care i know a lot of you really don't care at this point i have six movies to enjoy forever obviously there are reports about scream 7 i'm going to keep doing videos on it because i still love the scream franchise and i'm not opposed to having another good movie however i hope and i would wish that it's not from spyglass that's all but realistically do i see them selling the rights no i'm just recognizing that if Iotsi goes on strike this summer they could be forced to sell the rights depending on how they might want to settle or try to bounce back from any losses the strike brings we'll just have to again wait and see it's nice knowing that Melissa isn't closing the door on Sam but it's important to remember this wasn't her saying the rights are indeed being sold and it was more of a hypothetical more than anything until we hear otherwise what do you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.